to know where its energy will come from in future. Renewables like wind power are still far from covering the country's power needs. Coal is cheap and reliable, but the CO2 emissions harm the environment and the climate. Germany's 17 nuclear power stations may not emit greenhouse gases, but they produce nuclear waste that will remain radioactive for thousands of years. Chancellor Merkel has taken personal charge of the energy question. In recent weeks, she's been on a publicity tour of wind farms, hydroelectric plants and reactors. Officially, it's supposed to be a fact-finding tour, but Merkel's stance on nuclear power was apparently set even before she set off. Personally, I've long been convinced that in our energy mix, we will need nuclear power for a certain amount of time. Although the goal we must keep in mind is to arrive in the renewables era as quickly as possible. But which path to take is hotly disputed. Germany's former Social Democrat Green government set 2022 as the year the last nuclear reactors would be shut down. Today's government wants to revise that date. It appointed a team of scientists to probe the effects of extending the lives of the country's reactors. After reading the report, Germany's environment minister and economics minister have arrived at completely different conclusions. In no way does extending the use of nuclear energy stand in the way of developing renewables. On the contrary, nuclear power will help keep energy prices stable and will help us to reach our emissions goals more efficiently. The stated goals were reached in all the study scenarios, which means reactor operating lives have at most a marginal and certainly not a decisive effect and significance. The reports make clear that the former government's timetable would not cause power shortfalls. That's one reason why Environment Minister Norbert Röttgen wants to extend the reactor's operations by eight years at the most, thereby raising the pressure to expand renewables. He says he sees enormous potential, especially in wind power. Röttgen envisions a Germany running completely on renewables by the year 2050. Today, renewables supply only about 16% of the country's power. 23% is generated in nuclear plants. Almost half comes from coal. Other sources, such as gas and oil, account for the remainder. The government is due to unveil its energy concept later this month. But the Chancellor has said she wants nuclear in the mix longer than her environment minister does. Now that we have the scenarios, it's clear that extending reactor operations by 10 to 15 years would provide clear advantages in electricity prices, as well as in the issue of how to reach our emissions targets as quickly as possible. The reports say that with a 12-year nuclear extension, the share of renewables in the mix would double by 2020. Even nuclear power itself would account for more than now in the mix. Coal would account for only a third, gas and oil for the rest. The director of Berlin's Eco Institute says extending the reactor's lives is a mistake. He says that would remove pressure on the big utilities to push ahead with developing renewable energies. Extending reactors' operations for any significant time would hinder the necessary investments rather than promoting them. And that would only give us big headaches later on. The only real effect would be bigger profits for the utilities. All other objectives for electricity prices, for CO2 emissions, would turn out to be illusory. But the government is plotting its course. It wants the nuclear extension and the big utilities are rejoicing. Every day that a paid-for reactor remains online brings them a million euros. Part of these profits would flow into a new tax to help promote renewables. The opposition, meanwhile, has vowed to torpedo the government's plan. We won't support even a one-second extension for an energy form that we can't fully control, where we still have no solution for disposing of the waste. We will use all legal means we have, including our influence in the upper house, to prevent longer operations for nuclear reactors. No matter what the government's energy plan finally looks like, more trouble is expected this fall.